So I'm starting off by moisturizing my face. I'm using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and this is just going to act as a base. Instead of using a primer, I'm just going to place this all over my face to provide an extra barrier. And then I'm actually going to cut up some netting. I actually cut this up from an old wig cap. And um, right now I cut some circles out of it. And now I'm just tracing them along my eyes to kind of fit where I want to put my black and the liquid latex. So I'm taking a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Bean, or Black Bean I think it is, and I'm just going to be applying this, covering my brows and all of my eyelid, and of course underneath my eye. Um, I do this in sections because I actually was not sure how I wanted to do this. I just kind of winged this look, like I knew what I wanted to do, but I winged like all of it basically. So... I'm just placing that all over my eye and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. I'm just doing this to kind of make sure that there's no like clumps or anything in it. We will be going over it with a black eyeshadow to set it, but I decided to do this as a base so it looked a lot darker. You can totally use a paint or anything else you want, but this is just the creamiest thing that I had in order to, you know, really make that dark underneath my eyes. Next, I'm going in with this paint from the Halloween store, and this is a grease paint, so you're definitely going to want to set this with an eyeshadow or a powder or anything you want, but since this is a grease paint, it is going to crease on you, and it is going to kind of smear a lot, actually, because it's not like a watered base paint like all of these fancy, you know, body painters have. It just... A grease paint basically so I'm just taking that and going right over the NYX jumbo pencil that I put on my eyes and I'm taking that with an RC cosmetics like concealer brush and I'm just painting around my eyes like normal and then I'm actually going to take this black Lancome liner and I'm going to just place that um, in my upper lash line and then of course on my lower lash line because we want to make sure that everything is nice and dark. Now I'm going to be doing the liquid latex part but first I'm going to be ripping some toilet paper just in little strips and this is the liquid latex that I have and I'm just going to be placing that all around the black area and as you can see I didn't make the black part as big as I thought I was going to because I forgot that I was going to be putting liquid latex like around it so basically what I'm doing is I'm stippling on some liquid latex with a sponge and I'm just placing that in a circle all around the black area and then I'm actually going to be placing pieces of toilet paper on the liquid latex in order to create some texture and some other stuff that would just kind of make it more skin-like and like more cuts and everything. So I'm just placing that all around and I'm actually fast forwarding this because it's very repetitive. So I added the liquid latex, ripped some toilet paper, put it around my eye and of course we look like a crazy person but that's okay because the end result is awesome. And next I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Um, like I said, very repetitive, so I'm not going to talk too much um, for this one. So placing the liquid latex around it, toilet paper, and then that's pretty much it. So after I placed all of the toilet paper on, I'm actually going back in with the liquid latex and I'm going to be placing that right on top of the toilet paper. This is just going to add another layer to make it very skin-like and textured and everything. One thing I do want to say is if you have sensitive eyes or anything, you may not want to use liquid latex like this because it does have a very strong scent and I think it does have a little bit of ammonia in it. I'm not sure, but it does kind of burn a little bit but after a while you kind of get used to it so I definitely wouldn't recommend this if you have very sensitive eyes because it may burn them next I'm going to set all of the black around my eyes and I'm just taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Noir eyeshadow with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to pack that onto all of the black areas which is basically everything inside the circle this is just going to make sure that it stays creaseless and stays on our eyes and underneath our eyes and it doesn't smudge 
And now I'm going to be taking some tweezers or you can take your finger or the end of a brush, anything you want. And I'm just going to be kind of lifting up the edges of where that toilet paper and liquid latex is. This is just going to create that texture and going to give us an area to place the netting that we're going to be using for the like eye part. And next I'm going to be just taking a little bit more of that black and I'm just going to fill in a little bit underneath of where we lifted up just to make sure that it's nice and dark and there's no bare skin areas. Just making sure that I go all the way around that eyeball and just really getting in there and I'm using some really cheap brushes from like the craft store you can probably find these brushes anywhere but if you're working with liquid latex and stuff like this I would definitely pick up some cheap brushes don't use like your really good makeup brushes next I'm going to set the rest of that with a little bit more eyeshadow because I didn't do it in the first part but I'm just setting all of that with the black eyeshadow and now I'm going to take this concealer from the a NYX concealer palette and this is the color correcting palette and I'm taking the skin tone color and I'm just going to be placing that on the liquid latex and the toilet paper to kind of blend it in a little bit more with my skin so it's not as white and I just wanted to make sure that it just really blended in. You don't have to do this because we are going to be going back in and covering it up with some blood and some paint and everything so you definitely don't have to. But I thought it looked nicer than just having a white ring around my eyeballs. And I'm taking a crown buffing brush. And this is just like a small kabuki brush. And I'm just placing that on there. And as you can see, I smeared the black, which is why you always want to set it. Now I'm going to be taking that liquid latex and placing a little bit on the netting that we're going to be using around our eyes. Like I said, I customized these. I cut it out of like an old hair wig cap I guess that's what it's called and I'm just going to be placing that around my eyes and sticking it up underneath where that toilet paper and that liquid latex is um I honestly didn't know how to put this on so I figured this was just the best way so I'm just placing a little bit on it and then I placed it up top so it would stay and then I'm now I'm just going around the eye and placing it underneath that and then I'm tucking in the netting for it and I started to do this side and I started to peel back some stuff and add some latex and then I realized that if I put the netting on that I wouldn't be able to see really well so I just stuck on the top part and I left the bottom part open so I could flip it up and look at what I was doing. Next I'm going to be taking these paints and I'm going to be mixing red and black and this is just because the red is too red for me. It was a little bit too fake of a red and the black was just obviously too black so mixing them together gave me this really nice burgundy kind of color and it really looked like like blood like if you were to peel back skin or anything so this is like my favorite method to get that type of look is just mixing a black and a red paint and I'm just going to be placing that along the outer portion and the circles of my eyes this is just going to add a little bit more texture and make it look like we really did cut through our skin and as you can see, I like mix it on the back of my hand and I'm taking this textured sponge and I'm just going to make kind of scrapes on my face. You can totally leave this as it is and just add some scrapes to your face and everything. But you know, I had to take it a step further than this because I just placed that all over my lips, on my body, but I wanted to use some blood so I kind of made my own blood concoction so basically what I did is I took the fake blood but it looks way too fake so I mixed in some black and red paint in it and it made just a burgundy color red which looked a lot more normal than a stark red blood so I'm just placing that basically 
everywhere because I wanted this look to be super bloody and gory. So I'm placing that down my eyes, on my nose, around the eyes a little bit. I wanted to place these like basically everywhere that I thought would be bleeding. And then of course I dripped some on my neck to kind of give me like an effect that I just like swam in my own blood. And then of course I went back and smeared it across just to give a little bit more texture. And that is the completed look. So that is my first Halloween tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really wanted to do something super gory and I am all about this life right now. So let me know what you guys think about my first Halloween tutorial. I know I didn't do a lot last year so I am definitely trying to pick it up this year and give you guys um, enough Halloween tutorials up until Halloween. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! As So the first thing that I'm going to do 